Okay. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to Iroha demo session. Um, yeah, hope you can see me uh, and can hear me. So, so yeah, let's get it started. So, my name is Camille. Uh, I am CEO of Ceramitsu Labs, which is Russian branch of Ceramitsu. And today I will present you Hyperledger Iroha V2, which is a next generation blockchain platform. So, yeah, let's get it started. Uh, today we'll speak about the Roha V2, then I'll show you some GitHub structure of uh, our repository, then we'll, during the demo we'll uh, spin up a simple Eroha network and interact with it using uh, Eroha special instructions and Eroha client CLI. So yeah, let's start. Um, so who we are, uh, we're Seremitsu and uh, we were established in 2016 and then, uh, well, we were one of the initial contributors to Hyperledger Iroha, and we use this blockchain as foundation for our projects. Uh, like uh, we created payment system for the National Bank of Cambodia, and also we worked with the uh, Moscow Exchange to create a platform called D3 Ledger for tokenization of digital assets. And yeah, we were also selected to create C++ implementation of Polkadot. So yeah, we kind of not work only in enterprise, but also in um, well kind of block, public blockchains as well. Uh, so yeah, to start with Roja, we should think about this philosophy. Uh, we should we try to keep it as simple as possible so that um, people without big experience uh, and, and background in blockchain can get started with uh, writing applications uh, on top of it using, for example, mobile libraries that we provide. Uh, that's why we put focus on mobile here. Uh, so yeah, just to be a blockchain that people really can use without uh, yeah, spending too much time on getting into details like consensus and other stuff. Well, when we speak about blockchains, um, yeah, usually I like present it like every blockchain has uh, more or less same components like message queue, database, data transition function, consensus. And if we compare Iroha 1 and Iroha 2, we can see the differences here. Like uh, Iroha 1 has uh, uh, message queue, which is based on uh, well, that allows you to basically create uh, MST transactions, like multi-signature transactions that are based on the quorums. Like you, every account has a number of signatories and you uh, have a rule like uh, if you quorum, for example, two, then at least two signatures should be attached to the transaction created by this account. And in Rohatsu, we have conditional MST, which allows you to write more complicated conditions like, uh, well, you can write a rule like uh, every, a signatory should uh, uh, put his signature or just uh, any of them or for example two signatories and uh, well it's mandatory that uh, one of the signatories uh, belongs to the list of uh, well pre-approved uh, signatories so something like that um yeah for database in roha one we use uh, postgres and also we use rocksdb uh, whenever in roha two we use in memory key value storage because we believe that uh, uh, well, the RAM gets cheaper and cheaper every year. And if you think even about blockchains like Ethereum, its entire state could be fit into uh, RAM of the modern uh, computers. So, um, yeah, that's why with that in mind, we develop uh, in-memory key value storage in Roha 2. Um, and for state transition functions in Roha 1, we had a concept called commands, um, which is kind of atomic instructions. Uh, Predefined atomic instructions that are written in C. We also had integration with Hyperledger Barrel, which is the Ethereum virtual machine. Um, yes, and in Roha 2, we uh, have instructions. Uh, uh, they are kind of more general than just commands. Uh, and we also have, uh, well, we have under development custom runtime, uh, which is kind of even more general. So it would be possible to write. Uh, virtual machines uh, using WebAssembly or Ethereum virtual machines as well. Uh, but uh, that depends on the use case. Like uh, for central banks, for example, instructions are way to go as they are more simple and they are kind of created specifically for this use case. But for the public blockchains where you, we need very custom logic, um, yeah, so uh, custom runtimes work the best. Uh, for consensus, yeah, in Roha 1, we use YAC, which is CFT. And in Roha 2, we developed Sumeragi, which is uh, Byzantine for tolerance. So yeah, with that, um, yeah, I can give you the short overview of uh, Roha 2. So it is written in Rust. And uh, as I said, all data is kept in memory. Um, 
but you shouldn't worry like uh, <laughs> we do not write anything on disk and so your data is volatile because well uh the blocks are updated on the disk so nothing is lost we can easily recreate the state using blocks if needed we have integration with hyperledger ursa which allows us to um, use any cryptography algorithm that is supported by ursa and we also use multi hashes for uh transactions like uh, we can uh, for transaction signatures i mean so that we can recognize by the prefix uh, uh, what kind of cryptography algorithm was used to, to sign specific transactions. So that's really a uh, flexible way of using different, uh, well, any kind of cryptography in Iroha. Um, uh, well, Turing completeness in smart contracts could be achieved uh, uh, either by using instructions or later uh, by virtual machines like WebAssembly that we are going to develop. Well, the way we're going to do that is that uh, we will have an interface for the state transition functions like uh, execute block, validate transactions, and uh, well, implementation of them could be either using instructions or, for example, in WebAssembly virtual machine. That's uh, the way it works. So, uh, so yeah, if we use instructions, so here is the data model that we have. Uh, we have domains, and we have account addresses in this domain, and. Um, it's kind of we noticed that it's really simple but also useful for the cases like banks for example we have uh, several banks in the system and each of them have their domain and they have their certain users that have certain permissions in that domain um so yeah that's very convenient but actually that's uh, that the data model we use in uh central bank of cambodia for example okay so here we can um uh, start well dig into github structure of iroha uh, the whole development is uh, going in uh, hyperledger iroha um, iroha to dev branch actually so you can go into um, uh, hyperledger iroha select iroha 2 either iroha 2 dev or iroha, just iroha 2 dev dev branch well iroha 2 dev has more features but it's less stable so if you need more stable version of iroha 2 you should use iroha 2 branch and here we have several folders uh, the main folder is just iroha and um, yeah the rest uh, folders uh, they could actually they might be even separate repositories in future so like iroha cli uh, Iroha cryptography or Iroha HTTP server. Uh, so yeah, all this different stuff will keep here. Then, um, so yeah, we have um, several crates that we're going to use today. So Iroha is the main crate, uh, which is used to spin up Iroha network. Then we have Iroha client CLI. Well, at the moment, at the moment we don't have. Um, uh, mobile libraries and JS libraries finished to Roha too, so we just use CLI. But I think you got you get the impression of how to use Roha and uh, what it, you can do uh, with it using CLI. So and also we have crypto CLI, which allows us to um, generate keys. So get started. Um, demo scenario is yeah. We'll first review our Genesis file. Uh, then we generate some accounts and uh, spin up the network at, and start interact with it. So for Genesis file, you can go to um, Iroha folder and example of it you can find uh, here. So basically the Genesis contains the list of uh, transactions that are executed in the very first block. So here, for example, we register new domain called Wonderland then we register a new account alice at wonderland uh, we register some assets like rose at wonderland and yeah we also mint some of these assets and give it to alice so yeah for example in that case we have 13 uh, roses minted actually we're going to use this uh, genesis for our demo today um yeah the next thing is um, yeah generating new account so yeah, we go into the terminal. Uh, we have, uh, yeah, we can use uh, this uh, uh, command to generate pop account. And uh, here we can see that we generated public and private key. Actually, the first several bytes of uh, public key, they contain information about which kind of cryptography was used to generate this key pair. So in that case, it is ED25519. And then we put uh, Bob's uh, 
key pair into uh, Bob uh, the JSON file. Here we are, and then we'll be able to use it to sign transactions uh, on uh, Bob's behalf. So, yeah, so let's spin up a network. Uh, yeah, we have two ways of doing that. Uh, first is, uh, uh, yeah, first way, yeah, we can generate like uh, peer keys and uh, uh, create a list of peers um, and uh, then, well, kind of create uh, every peer and spin up the network. But uh, for the demo purposes today, uh, to sp speed up things, yeah, we created Docker Compose file. So we're going to use that today. Uh, so yeah, I just executed the new rock network and now we can start to interact with it using CLI. So we go into test docker folder. Yes, and uh, for the demo scenario, we will create a new domain called Iroha Bank. And uh, then we will register some account there and uh, we will register some asset there as well. And then, yeah, we will uh, transfer this asset uh, from one account to another. So yeah, let's start with this. Yeah, we create new domain. Yeah, we can then list all domains using this CLI command. So yeah, um, that's not very user friendly right now, but uh, well, when we have client libraries, it will be much, much better. So yeah, you can see that uh, Iroha Bank domain was created. And now we can uh, register account. Well, uh, as you remember, in Genesis file, we don't have uh, Bob account. We only have Alice account. So all transactions right now, they are executed by Alice account. So we should create a Bob account. Uh, here we are. Um, yeah, we can list all accounts using this CLI command. And yeah, we can see that indeed Bob account was created and it has public key that we defined before. So yeah, then we register uh, some asset uh, called IRH and mint this asset uh, and give it to Bob. So we mint 1337 IRH. Um, yeah, by this command, we can check that uh, indeed Bob has 103 uh, 1,337 uh, IRH uh, in Roha Bank. And uh, now we can transfer some of these assets from Bob to Alice. So, yeah. Um, you can notice that here we actually signed transaction by Bob's config file that we created before. Um, and yeah, with that, we can check that indeed uh some amount of assets uh, from bob's account were spent and alice received 14 irh so what we did uh, is really we created new domain which could be in that scenario uh, another bank and transferred some uh, amount of uh, assets uh, which we call irh in that scenario uh, from one domain to another domain and well you can do it really easy really fast using iroha blockchain so um so yeah that's uh that's all i have to show you today um yeah we can proceed to yeah. questions uh i see that we have a question in the uh, if you click on the q a tab there are some questions yep and so we only have uh about 60 seconds left so okay yeah i'll try to um uh, be fast with that. So how does Ceramid support the Iroha implementation? Do we provide consultation or license? So uh, Iroha is uh, open source. Actually, Ceramid doesn't own Iroha, so anyone can look it, look at it and uh, well, give it a try if they like. Um, so yeah, there are no licensing. Uh, you can just, uh, but definitely, yeah, we can uh, help with consultation if needed as we can uh, we use it a lot. Um, so Bacon Ledger is centralized and managed by Central Bank. Can talk about the decentralized version of this. So this is enterprise, uh, and uh, uh, it is centralized in terms of uh, uh, that only, well, basically one entity uses that, which is central bank, but it is decentralized as we have several nodes. Um, we, it's not like the Bitcoin where everyone, which is public chain, where anyone can spin up a node. Uh, 
So it's completely up to certain developments. So uh, certain scenario. Well, in Bakong, uh, they needed to keep it in uh, central bank. But yeah, w we can uh, think about different scenarios in future as well. There's also, um, if you want to ask some, we're at time, and I want to respect people's time. Um, if you want to ask questions, uh, you can jump into the uh, uh, the chat thing. I, I apologize, I forget the name. It looks like uh, Zelda, right? Um, so that that's that's open. And uh, thank you very much for your time. Yeah, welcome. Yeah, ah. it was nice to meet you. Bye.